guys, so today's tutorial is inspired by the makeup that Rihanna wore to the 2013 Grammys. I think she looked head to toe absolutely beautiful. I loved her dress, her hair, her makeup, everything. I loved everything about her look. So I decided to do a makeup tutorial inspired by what she did. She had a really um, natural but dramatic eye at the same time. It was very shimmery and light on the lid with really defined um, shadow in the crease and then some black liner but still keeping it natural but really defined at the same time and then a bright really pretty red lip and I'm also going to show you how I did the foundation and eyebrows and everything too. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. For the eyeshadow I also gave you a couple of options because there are a lot of eyeshadows that I had that I could have substituted the colors for so I ended up just kind of mixing them together. You can really substitute any colors you want but I gave you a few dupes. Um, before I did the eyeshadow so you can see some other options in case you didn't have the exact color in one of the palettes. So if you guys want to see how to get this look then just keep okay, watching. Okay guys so for today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to do my foundation um, to achieve her really flawless but still glowing complexion. I don't always include the foundation in my tutorial so you can go ahead and skip to the eyes if you want to but I'm just going to do the foundation really quick. I'm going to be mixing my Revlon Color Stay and my Dr. Jart BB Cream so I get the really natural kind of glowy look of this but it's going to be a little bit more perfected and flawless because I'm going to add some coverage with the Revlon Color Stay. So I'm just going to first shake this up and pour a little bit of this on the back of my hand. I'm just going to pour about that much. I know it looks like a lot but when, I think when you put foundation on the back of your hand to mix it with something. Um, it ends up kind of soaking into your skin a little bit, so it kind of wastes a little bit of product. But for this look, it's okay. And then I'm going to take a pump of my Dr. Jart BB Cream, and I'm going to put that right on top of the foundation, just like that. Then I'm going to be using a Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki Brush so I can really buff in the product. So I'm just going to get it on the back of my hand and just mix the two together and kind of work it into my brush. Then I'm just going to start stippling this on my face and blending it in. And that BB cream also helps the color stay um, be just a little bit more blendable because it can be a little hard to blend. I'm just gonna take it along the edges of my lips so when we do the red lip, there's no redness around my mouth. Next I'm going to do my under eye concealer really quickly like I always do. I'm going to use my MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer. And then I'm just going to set my under eyes with my Makeup Forever Translucent Powder. Okay, then to get that really glowy look, she kind of has a very subtle highlighted uh, face kind of through the center of her face. So I'm going to be using this Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Concealer in Radiant. And I'm just going to twist it up like this. It's kind of like a pinky toned highlighting concealer. So I'm just going to put some on the center of my nose, on my forehead, and then some right in here because she has a lot of brightness to the center of her face so I'm just gonna go like that and on my chin and then just blend it out okay then I'm just gonna set the center of my face I want to keep it very glowy but I don't want to look shiny so and I want the foundation to last. So I'm going to be using a little bit of my Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder. Um, it's very lightweight so when I don't want to add a ton of extra product on my face I go for this. So I'm just going to use this on a big uh, Real Techniques powder brush and just set my T-zone. Okay guys, so for this look, um, I have a couple different eyeshadow combinations that you could use. Um, the colors are very basic, so you're basically going to need a shimmery pinky tone champagne for the eyelid. You're going to need a slightly shimmery highlight color, um, a blender color that is similar to your skin tone, a warm medium matte brown for the crease, and then a slightly darker chocolatey brown. So I have a few different options I'm going to show you. Um, I'm gonna, you can use the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette, 
the Lorac Pro palette um, or some out of the Urban Decay Naked palette. So I'm just going to show you the different options that I have. So for the highlight, you could go with um, Venus out of the Naked Basics palette or Virgin out of the Naked palette. They're very similar. Um, Virgin looks a little lighter on camera, but they're pretty similar. Um, for the medium uh, skin tone brown, you can either use um, Sahara, you can use Naked 2 out of the Naked Basics, or you can use the original Naked color. Uh, for the warm matte brown, you can either use Buck, or you can use Sable, or you can use Taupe out of the Lorac Pro palette right there. These two are pretty much identical. So that is um, taupe and buck. You can either use either one of those. And then for the darker brown, you can use faint out of here. Or something really similar is espresso from MAC. Um, and it just looks like that. And those are those two right there. And then for the shimmery champagne color, you can either use Sin out of the Naked palette or you can use the nude color out of the Lorac Pro palette, which is right there. The only difference, and the reason why I'm gonna use the Lorac one is because it's a little bit less pink and a little bit more shimmery, but you can use any of those. So I just wanted to show you guys some dupes for the colors because you can really use what you have and I wanted to make sure you guys had some options. So now let's go ahead and get into the look. Okay, so I'm just gonna start off with my Lorac eyeshadow primer. And I'm just going to use this to prime my eyelids so my eyeshadow looks vibrant and lasts all night. Then I'm taking the color Naked on a fluffy brush out of the Naked palette. And I'm just going to be sweeping this in my crease to kind of work as our transition color. You can use any color that's similar to your skin tone or just a little bit darker. Then I'm taking the color Nude out of the Lorac Pro palette, which is a really pretty shimmery champagne color. And I'm just going to be using this on a small eyeshadow brush and just putting this color all over my eyelid. It adds a really pretty bright effect to the eyelid. I'm taking my MAC 217 brush or any little crease brush will do. And I'm going to go into Buck out of the Naked palette which is a little bit darker warm matte brown. And I'm just going to be working this color into my crease just to deepen up the look a little bit and define my crease a little bit more. Then I'm gonna take a little tiny bit of that color on a fluffier brush and just kind of bring it up a little bit above my crease to blend it upwards. And then I'm gonna wipe off my brush and use it clean just to buff out the edges so there's no harsh line. Then with my small crease brush, I'm just gonna connect the edge of the crease color down back towards the uh, lash line so it creates a little V shape on the outer corner and connects it back to the eyelid. And then I'm just gonna blend it out. Naked Basics palette, I'm going into the color WOS, which stands for Walk of Shame, and it's just a pinky cream color, and I'm going to use this to blend everything out. I'm going into Virgin out of the Naked palette, which is just a satiny highlight color. You don't want anything too shimmery, but this just adds a nice little highlight, and I'm just going to be putting that right underneath the brow. Then I'm going into the color Venus out of the Naked Basics palette, which is a little bit more shimmery. And I'm going to put this on the inner corners just to brighten up my eyes. And then just take a very tiny bit of it and put it underneath my brow bone just to catch the light a little bit more. I'm just sweeping it upwards towards my crease to open up the eyes. With my pencil brush, I'm going back in with a mixture of Naked and Buck. And I'm just going to be running this along my lower lash line so everything blends nicely. Then I'm going into Faint out of the Naked Basics palette, which is a little bit darker. And I'm just going to be focusing this on the outer part of my lower lash line just to deepen it up a little bit so you get a nice smoky effect underneath your eyes. And I'm going back into Naked just to blend it out a little bit more so it's not too harsh. And I'm going back into the darker brown and I'm going to use this on the upper eyelid and I'm just going to be using this on the outer V just on the very outer corner so it adds a little bit more definition and you get a more defined look on the outer corner. I'm going to take my Rimmel Scandalize eyeliner pencil in black and I'm just going to use this to line my waterline and my tight line to make my eyelashes appear a lot fuller. Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in Black is Black, which is just a really nice gel liner. And I'm going to be using a really fine eyeliner brush and drawing a really thin line on my upper lash line. And it's going to get thicker towards the outer corner. You want to keep it very thin towards the inner part because hers isn't too thick. 
And then once you get to the outer corner, I'm gonna be winging it out very slightly just to create a nice point on the outer corner and just kind of extend the eyes just a tiny bit. Then I'm gonna add a quick coat of mascara before I put on my false lashes. So I'm gonna take a little bit of duo eyelash adhesive and I'm gonna be applying a few individual eyelashes to create a really natural but full looking eyelash effect. So I'm applying a few longer ones on the outer corner and then a few shorter ones on the rest of my lash line. Then I'm just going to be brushing through my brows with a spoolie and I'm going to be filling them in with my Anastasia Brow Powder in Brunette. And Rihanna had very defined eyebrows. They weren't too dark or full, but they were just really crisp looking. So I'm just going to be filling them in slightly to create the same look. natural looking bronzer. I'm going to be using the NYC um, Sunny Bronzer and this is a very light color and it's a very warm light bronzer. Her um, bronzer looks very natural if she's wearing any so I'm just going to take that on a kind of smaller brush on a blush brush and I'm just going to lightly run this underneath my cheekbone. And then I'm going to put some right along my hairline up here by my temples. Okay, then for blush, she doesn't really look like she's wearing a lot on her cheeks. Um, it's a very subtle color if she is wearing anything, so it may be a little bit peachy. Um, I'm going to be using the NYX Blush in Peach. It's a really light peach, peachy pink color, um, and I'm just going to take a tiny bit of that and kind of keep it kind of higher um, and a little bit further back on my cheeks because you don't really want to look like you're blushing. She doesn't really have a whole lot of blush. This will just add a nice kind of peachy glow and add a little bit of color back to my face. Okay, then for the last step, which is a highlighter, and I think this is the most key part of her um, kind of cheek look. So I'm going to be using this Lorac perfectly lit powder in spotlight. It looks like that and it's just a really pretty highlight. I don't know how to explain it. It's like a skin tone color. It really does just kind of look like you're in perfect lighting and that's what her skin looks like. It just looks like it's glowing but it doesn't look shimmery. Um, it just looks very brightened and very beautiful. So I'm going to be using this on a little highlighter brush and I'm just going to start with this on my cheekbones. So I'm just going to put it right up here. I'm going to take a little bit on that brush and brush it down the center of my nose and on my forehead just to brighten that area up a little bit more, like where we put that highlighting concealer earlier. And then a tiny, tiny bit right on my cupid's bow. Okay, so for the lips, she's wearing a really bright red lipstick and it kind of has a warmer, orangier undertone. It's not like a coral or anything, it's just a really bright poppy red with a little bit of an orange undertone. So I'm going to start off with a lip liner just so I can get a really clean precise line. I'm going to be using this Jordana Easy Liner for lips in the color Sedona Red. These are only like $1.99 at Walgreens and they're really good lip liners. So it just twists up like that. And I'm just going to put this around the edges of my lips and fill them in slightly. Okay, then for the lipstick, I'm going to be using one of my favorite reds, and it's from the drugstore. It's this CoverGirl lipstick in Hot Passion, and I absolutely love this color. It's the perfect bright red, and it has that little bit of an orangey undertone, but it still doesn't make your teeth look yellow, so it's a great bright red, and it's the red that Taylor Swift supposedly wears, so it's a really popular red. So it looks like that, and I've used it so much, it's not even pointy anymore. So I'm just going to be putting that right over my lips and I'm just gonna be putting it on straight out of the tube. And then I'm just going to blend it in a little bit with a lip brush. And then I'm just gonna take a tissue and blot off my lips. That'll just get rid of any excess shine. And then lastly, I'm gonna be applying one more layer of lipstick, and I know this may seem excessive, like 
doing the lip liner, the lipstick, the lip brush, the blotting, but it just helps your lipstick last longer when you layer it and like blot off a layer and put another layer on. You don't have to do that if you don't want your lipstick to last, but it does help your lipstick to last a lot longer and I think it just looks um, better. It just sits on your lips better if you put it on in layers. So I'm gonna apply one more layer of lipstick and then the lips will be done. Okay guys, so here is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I absolutely love this look. I think it is so perfect and glamorous and classic, but a little bit different with the eyes and the red lips. I absolutely love it. Uh, for my hair, I just curled it like normal with a regular curling iron. I just wrapped it around um, in kind of medium sized sections and then to make it more messy and PC like she had it, I really just scrunched it up, shook my hair around, um, pieced a few, pieces apart. I just kind of pulled them apart like that. Hair sprayed it and scrunched it up. It's really, really easy. But I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and yeah, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'll leave all those links down below and I'll also give you a 10% coupon code for Sigma brushes. Uh, the link will be in the down bar. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you in the next video. Bye.